Hi guys, just noticed my radio control car here has a habit of not turning off when I turn the switch off on the ESC. It's a very basic, simple problem. The, if I pull it out, pull the switch out, and zoom in a bit. Hope we're still in focus. I can't see the screen. They've got no um, sleeving over these wires and they've gone very frayed and they're actually touching each other. Or at least they were. I've separated them out now. So I'm just going to desolder them and put a bit of heat shrink tubing over them to stop them making contact. This one is fine. This one got heat shrink over each wire and a bit of heat shrink over the whole thing. So that one's probably a slightly better quality than that one. So, as I say, I'll desolder them, cut a couple of short lengths of heat shrink tube in, put them over, solder it back up again, job done. It's going to be one of those days, I think. Camera had stopped filming, so we'll have to do a recap. I've desoldered the switch off the wires. I've cut the wires clean and restripped them because they'd gone very frayed at the end. I've slipped two pieces of heat shrink tubing over so they're ready. And we'll And hold that still. These little USB soldering irons heat up very quickly, but they also turn themselves off if you don't use them. So just warm that up again. pre-tinned the ends of those wires so that should be done so that's the heat shrink tube in back over the terminations Warm them up a bit. That should be it. Job done. Right, connect the battery back up. Job done. So we can put the Equestria Girls toy car back together. This is the one that I modified. It was just a push along cheap toy. But we've got the back end axle and gearbox and motor out of a, another toy car and the steering out of another toy car. So it's now radio controlled. The only problem was the original wheels are just hard plastic and have no grip. So I've just changed those wheels for, these are Connex wheels, but they've got nice rubber on them. 
So that should give us a bit of grip so we can actually steer it. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's other channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Cart. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.